Thousands of people are displaced here, and more are still coming days after gunmen invaded their villages. Abu Zaid Usman was in the bushes for four days before reaching the safety of this camp. His two brothers didn't make it. They were shot down as they ran towards the stream. Those who escaped jumped into the river, but six other attackers were on the other bank. They kept shooting at us while we were in the river. Eventually, I was the only one who survived. But even here, the refugees fear the attackers, who they say are only some 20 kilometers away. The villagers say for two years the gunmen have terrorized and forced them to pay levies to cultivate their own crops. They started by stealing more than 200 cattle some years ago. They demanded money for us to get the animals back. We paid, but they didn't release the cattle. They asked for tens of thousands of dollars, yet they won't give us any peace. We tried to get to the scene of the worst attacks, but were turned back by security forces. Tamani village is about 10-15 minutes from here. We've been warned by security officials that the area has been overrun by bandits and that it's not safe to go there. The village sits on the border with Zamfara State where residents say the gunmen have been killing and maiming civilians over the last four years. The Nigerian government, already under pressure from other trouble spots, says it's looking at reviewing its security approach. Operations are being conducted from Zamfara side and that is why they found this area vulnerable. We put in out uh, a very uh, sound strategy that we will finally deal with the situation. Days after the attacks, many families can't find their relatives. We still, still believe that there are people that are missing, they are in villages, either they are dead or they are missing. So what we did, we set a committee in, uh, including the army, the police and civil defense they, with the community. They are going now back to the village to go and, you know, comb the whole area within and outside the village and also the river line areas to check whether there are corpses that now will come up from the river. Most of the dead are buried here, several kilometers from their homes, and officials say they expect the casualty numbers to go up. For the survivors, the immediate priority now is food, shelter and medicine, then to find out who among their families survived. But as the days go by, time is running out for even the dead to get a decent burial. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Gandhi, Northwest Nigeria.